All right, Jones, take us off with uh, the recent events as we rewind just a little bit. There we were in the basement of the the place across the bridge, and um, a, a giant blood-sucking leech eating my friends or accomplices, should I say? Um. Well, we quickly decided it would be best to run. So we attempted so. Unfortunately, um, it did not work out quite as we had planned. Briggle and Koa were left behind. And I, um, uh, something came over me. Foolish, foolish mistake, I decided to go back. And, um, so... I did. Um. <laughs> Luckily, um, the bear was enough of a distraction for us to all finish the job. Unfortunately for the bear, it did not make it. Oh, it will make a fine stew. So, wanting to make this stew, we decided best case would be to look for the kitchen. But not before we rest. And during our rest, I had a interesting conversation with our goblin friend. First she was coming on to me, but I let her know I am a taken man. And I no longer have the required parts for such activity. Um she let me know that uh, she believes Go Kill might have feelings for me. However, I do believe that he just wants to gnaw on my bones. The ones that are left. Uh, leaving after our rest to look for the kitchen and the office, uh, we decided to boost Limbo up into the window. She gave a peek through and uh, noticed a chapel, so we will not be going in there today. That's pretty much it up until this point. This is very true. And with that, welcome everybody to Swindler's Den presents the Abomination Vaults. Um, I'm Mior and I'll be your game master. First up on the layout, because I actually pulled it up, woo, we have Lordimus, otherwise known as Tommy Taco and other medias. Uh, go ahead. Are you sure I'm first on the layout? You are? <laughs> Hi, I'm uh, Lordimus. Uh, you can find me here on various other shows that have passed, but if you want more cool content, go check those out. Uh, I play Core, a hunter. Ranger. I think they're called. Are they hunters or rangers in Pathfinder? It's Ranger. He's getting the ranger. He's of wow. Don't worry about yeah. it. Wow. Hunters, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and my pet's dying wow, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll play Core the uh, Orc Ranger. All right, and next up we have Grizzlock. Uh, sorry for the recap. <laughs> it was beautiful. My name is Grizzlock. You can find me on YouTube and Twitch under the same name. Where I've been streaming Baldur's Gate three, so come check it out. We're finally in Act three. Finally, hopefully, wrapping it up in time for Dragon's Dogma two. We've got some hype behind that game. Probably won't. Probably won't succeed in that. But anyways, uh, you find me right here on uh, Swindler's Den as well, where I play in every single game that you can click on on the channel. So, All right. And He's next the up, we have Genji. Hi, I'm Genji. I play Limbo, the Goblin Cleric. You can find me on a couple of other videos on Swindler's Den. This is very true. Um, also, last but certainly not least, we have Baka Zombie. Hello, I'm Baka Zombie. I play Go Kill, the Noel Barbarian. Um, on this channel, I also DM uh, Glory of the Giants, which is uh, happening alongside this game. If you want some more TTRPG content, uh, be sure to watch that. Otherwise, if you want to see any of the other shows I'm in, uh, follow me on uh twitter at zombie baka 
I retweet things when they happen. I forgot to say I'm playing Jones uh, Bones, but I think that that's already been established, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> he is the wondrous Jones Bones. Also, I believe that uh, Glory of the Giants premieres on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. EST, correct? Yeah, 6.30. Yes. yes. Right. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> um, and, uh, you it know, comes out hey, on Wednesday. Uh, that's all that matters. <laughs> don't forget to leave a like for Birdie. Uh, comment how limbo made you laugh and uh, subscribe if you want to see more of these uh these fellas here uh but like anyway press f in the comments for briggle <laughs> <laughs> and f in the comments for briggle that is yeah that's the true <laughs> to pay respect, man. <laughs> so uh just to uh give ourselves a little bit of a because we had just left off as limbo had seen inside this chapel but as it's been a week for us uh real folk uh let me just give you a little bit reminder of what that looked like for you limbo um so inside you saw that uh it almost looks like possibly this room is a little bit damp because you see condensed beads or, blah, 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 condensed beads on the walls that run in rivulets uh, across countless skulls carved in the stone uh, moldering, uh, two actually moldering old skeletal corpses, uh, in sort of priestly gar garment, uh, garments. Wow, I'm just having a whew, something today. Anyways, yes, uh, two skeletal figures in priestly garments. They lie against this uh, further wall over to the southeast over here. Um, and you do see that there are some short steps that lead toward a wider chamber to the north. Uh, where a semicircular dais supports an altar of white stone. And you can't really see windows, but you can see light refracting through windows that causes a long streak of uh, colorful light across the floor. And kind of looking into this, you can actually see what appears to be roughly four haunting scenes of ghosts rising from overgrown graveyards uh, toward a four-pointed orange star high above. Uh, but that's about all you can see. This is because the window you're looking through, it's kind of like a smaller arrow slit. I'd say it's maybe like a foot wide max. All right. She relays all that back to her her group of people. Wonderful. We know that room is not the kitchen or the office. So we can ignore it. That's, that's fair enough, I guess. You have good investigating skills. Thank you. What? But I was the one who looked through. But it was my idea. Feel like you're 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 taking some of my credit here, but you know I'll, I'll just go let it go. And I <laughs> held her up so she could see. Good job, right. Go Kill. Teamwork. See, <laughs> Go Kill gets it. Four nods like. They all, with this expression that they all make fair points. Well, I say we go back to the door we exited from. And, um, look around for these kitchens and office sai. Office sai? <laughs> okay. Start lumbering towards the door with a dead bear in tow. All right, yeah. You uh, haul your companion back towards the keep. I'm Just realized I Riddle. don't need to eat. I'm a skeleton. Yes, but <laughs> you're a fish now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we... Uh... Oh, no, see, okay, because you have hungers as an undead. Do I? We've determined is your random stuff that a skeleton might munch on so now, like obviously humans for zombies and... it's like flesh okay but yeah, yeah so you good. know what yeah it's actually bear sounds delicious <laughs> some good old trail you mix need to make up your mind <laughs> sorry i forgot i forgot how my physicality um, works i will say core as you look in this room uh because i don't think y'all necessarily close the door uh you do see the same similar scene to what you saw before you actually do see uh the blood on the ground once more but as you kind of look at it it almost looks 
like almost inert you you see a small like like a little bubble here or like a gentle sway in it but it doesn't i mean it hasn't seemed to jump out at you like it did last night i reach down pick up a, a rock and i've got one hand on this door and i chuck a rock at the, at the blood yeah, in hopes yeah, of but... shutting this door if anything happens. <laughs> yeah, I got you, I got you. Yeah, so you toss the rock. Well, it's not that far. Easy enough for you to toss it in the blood. And, I mean, it essentially just kind of lands in it and, like, bounces across the stone floor. Yeah, obviously, it has a little bit of blood on the back of it as it rolls further out. But, yeah, it doesn't really seem to do anything. Uh, it looks to be a blood puddle for now, but just, you know, weirdly still kind of, you know, active, although not near as active as last night. <laughs> that weird twisty oh. chain thing's gone? Uh, so the that was when um, the blood kind of, like, congealed into, like, a yeah. rope and, like, shot straight up through the keyhole. Uh, but it, it appears either new blood has come here or maybe that blood came back down. Okay, so oh, ropey thing gone. Back. Wonderful. Um, you want to go in and take a look? Not really. So, uh, but how do you suggest we get back then? Well, um, buckets. I say we find buckets, fill them with the water from the river here, and. Swash the blood away. I, I guess that's an idea. Uh, there might be some buckets in a boathouse. Clever. Watch this. We're going to make this floor completely wet. And if this thing does activate, we're going to have to make <laughs> a deck tripping. save. <laughs> <laughs> A reflex save every time we move to make sure we don't trip. Oh man, I love it. All right, so I guess we check the boathouse. Uh, sure, sure. Or buckets. Buckets or, on buckets. Or on buckets. anything that can scoop water. A, a good we amount. We put water in this boat and then dump the boat into the doorway. <laughs> oh man uh yeah i mean i would say that most of the stuff in here like there is kind of like this old crappy boat it is kind of rotten uh what i will say is like as you guys were kind of walking towards the boathouse uh while this one does look kind of decayed and almost like you could break it just by picking it up this boat on the dock up here actually looks fairly new okay but is there buckets uh <laughs> you sure forgot our whole there, <laughs> there don't is lure us to the freaking drake <laughs> a bucket yes there are two uh <laughs> yeah, two buckets if you want to if you want to go try to pick those up, you can. Oh, There's glue to the ground. <laughs> you try to pick I, them up. I pick up one of the buckets. <laughs> They're screwed. All right. The handle falls off, but you still have a bucket that you can hold with two hands, I guess. Uh -huh. Go, okay, Kale. Okay. Do you mind taking the other bucket? Mm. Why you want to get water from Drake Hole? <laughs> Well, um, you dip bucket water, Drake come eat you. Yes, that is why Limbo is going to make a distraction on the other side. We throw her in. N well, <laughs> that, <laughs> that would work, but no. I'm thinking maybe something else will think of it when we get over there. You want me to distract the Drake? By myself, on the complete opposite side of everybody else. <laughs> I can go with you if it makes you feel better. Moral support. Bones, I... I, I don't think it's one of your best ideas. I'm, I'm just going to let you know. talking. I'm, like, looking out at the river, dude, and I'm going to do my little, little ten-minute thingy My little, little, little... Your little ten-minute thingy majiggy. Yeah, right, I can't right, right. remember what it's called. Oh, he's, he's all real. Survey uh, Wildlife. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Uh, okay, so yeah, you um, can give me a survival check is how it works, if I recall. Watch me get a nat 20 on this. Okay. <clears throat> Here you go, I'll go ahead and start that in the chat so that you can read it. Oh yeah, I got a jump. Yeah. Out. And yeah, what am your, I your rolling for? As well. uh, just roll a survival. Survival. Hey, wait, hold on. Here we go. This is cool. Oh, I was hoping it would automatically do it. Sorry. You all Gills. Good. And survival. Bam. Natural 20. I knew that was oh, going to be. Nice. I was like, watch this be the nice. only nat 20 I get. That is so funny. All right. So in the in the basic action macros, just go ahead and give me the um, click the recall knowledge button one for me, because it'll show what all your recall knowledges would be based on your role. And uh, I can easily tell you what you pass and don't pass on for that. No. OK, no. Where in the hell is recall knowledge? Uh, I believe there it is, is in. Oh, I got a minus one to this. Oh, no, no, that's just it's just a general like oh. because it's all the different modifiers, so they just put a minus one. And this is on the basic action macros. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I clicked on it, and it's not doing anything. It just is says your, core is tries your to remember. If they've... Yeah, it, they're selected. Oh no no okay yeah yeah no it, it went for me so you're good it uh, okay it went through mm -hmm. you should have three um, of them because I clicked it three times yeah 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 I just went with the first one um, yeah, 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 okay yeah 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 okay so um you are let's see yeah you uh you're already aware that you have seen a river Drake in the area. Um, you don't really see much trace of them at the moment, but, you know, from previous observations, you do know that one probably layers near here somewhere. Um, obviously, uh, let's see, Mitflits, uh, yeah, Mitflits, you are aware that Yet again, while you guys were probably sleeping and down there, Mitflits have been out and about, uh, so there is still evidence of them kind of moving around. It looks like they haven't exactly given up their general day-to-day -day operations, most likely. And uh, you are also aware of... Um, oh, yeah. Uh, you are pretty clear that... That is still a flicker flicker wisp on the opposite dock. Pretty obvious to see from where you are, but uh, you're not able to like recall much more special about them. Oh, what I will say is uh, you are able to kind of you know think a little bit harder about Mitflits, and uh, you do know that uh, as you think more about them, that uh, they are quite vengeful little mofos um Aww. so they uh they might really uh you know uh tunnel vision in on someone who's probably wronged them in some shape or form um but yeah that's what you're able to get of the like surrounding creatures you know in hindsight i should have thought this through and just asked for a perception <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm looking at the water. I see any movement out there. <laughs> no. Uh, no, yeah. You all so, uh, who's getting the buckets with me? I guess me. Um, you are, is there paddles? Is there a paddle on this <laughs> decayed boat? Uh, the decayed boat? There is a, de a decayed paddle, yes. All right, I'll grab that. And then all right. Uh, Limbo and I are going to go over here. <laughs> Nice, nice. Um, this fire pit was this used last night? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, that. so yeah, 
looking at it, it uh, doesn't like because last time you guys saw it, it was pretty dead. And I think Core had seen that it had probably been not been lit for at the very least a few days. Um, it doesn't really look like it's been disturbed since you guys were here. Okay. Um, bucket. And... Oh, yes, bucket. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, Limbo. I'm not doing anything strange as I start wrapping rope around her waist. <laughs> Tying it off. All right. she's, she is immediately about to cut it. No, no, no. Take this. I, you need to tell it's, me what this is for. It's for your own safety. And what am I taking? I'm handing you an ore. Bones, you, you realize how tall I am, right? No, perfect. You're closer to the water. You're going to take the paddle and slap it Bones, on the water. I, Bones, my arms. I'm pretty sure I can't reach down there without, like, literally getting on a floor. No, you use the paddle to smack the top of the water to summon oh. the beast. You're roped off in case you get pulled away, and I can pull you back. It's He's just for safety. Like your, uh, how how, how <laughs> yeah, I mean, far it will is be the water? It'll just be them both being pulled in the water. <laughs> how <laughs> far is the water? Go kill and tell them what happened. Yeah. So, <laughs> like, I know the uh, the map maker. These kind of look somewhat like cliffs, but uh, that was just due to the program used. So these are general like. Just a slow decline. This isn't like a cliff, so yeah, you can see. pretty easily like a little reach muddy out. shoreline. But no. yeah, yeah, exactly. I'll just like be right shore. back here I, with the rope. I will say that, like in front of you, though, Limbo, like this section, like because when you guys were in the front of the castle, it didn't look really that deep. Like maybe a couple, a couple feet, like max. Whereas this looks like kind of a lot darker near the center, where that could be anywhere from like ten to twenty foot deep. Bones, why can't we just throw something in the water? Why, why do we have to repeatedly keep tapping it? If you throw something in the water, it's not going to attract it. You have to make it make a scene. It wants to hunt weak prey, something that's maybe wounded or... Bones, did you just call me weak? The <laughs> oar. You know, you know, Bones, you know what? Limbo. No, no, she, she, she starts doing the rope. Bones, you do it. Limbo, I, I just have a feeling you won't be able to pull me back in if I get... Once again, Bones, you just can't be weak. I, I don't right, appreciate that, fine. Bones. I will tie this around myself. He pulls and it just splits his body in half. <laughs> <laughs> pulls his spine out. Oh, man. Give me that oar. She hands over the oar. I thought I liked you. <laughs> 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 it was nothing. I was going to introduce you to my kids. <laughs> All right. Be ready to get the water. I'm going to start splashing the paddle on the water. Yeah, after like, so you go to start splashing, and after like the second hit, she is holding her like point. snaps. Uh, but ah, Limbo shit. is still able to hold on here. <laughs> but while he gets those splashes in, uh, we'll say with your two buckets. Um, Bucket. Yeah, I assume you guys are just kind of, you know, getting a quick little slosh of water in there. Birdie, hold me um, so I don't fall in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. We, we get some uh, agua. All right. Uh, yeah, you guys go for the agua. And, oh, damn. Uh, uh -oh. We'll say core. As you, like, get a nice full bucket, you, like, pull it up and the bottom falls out. But, go kill, your bucket mm -hmm. seems to hold. I pick good bucket. This bucket <laughs> is garbage. <laughs> the paddle broke, so I guess that's that. Well, let's hope they at least got the water. Yeah, this keep is very old. <laughs> Why are one of you tied up? What's going on over here? <laughs> it's not what it looks like. Apparently it was Bones' They were in the closet plan. last night, and now they're outside tying each other up. I think they love each other. <laughs> that looks like love to me. That's a weird shit show for love. Hello, <laughs> do they know? <laughs> Bones and Limbo's opinions of each other has to drop. <laughs> Clear as day. I am a ear. married man. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. Clear, clear as day in your ear, go kill you here. Remember love. 
and it kind of goes away. Birdie, your voice changed. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Must have something in your throat. <laughs> All right, water boys. Open the door and be ready. Water. Oh. I uh, have water. Go kill. The door's, the door's still some... open. I never closed it. Go kill. You, want, you, you go first. Some... All right. If, if the blood comes to life, splash the water at it. What if it doesn't? Splash the water anyways. Just the floor is quite nasty. It needs to be cleaned. Seems like you just say splash water then because both instances call for it. <laughs> yes. Walk in just spilling water everywhere as I Very go. Very astute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, birdie. Don't go in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Your your on head. Oh man. Door. Uh, Open. Oh. Uh, Over. <laughs> oh, I'm trapped inside because uh, I'm using the dark quick. <laughs> oh, my token collided. Oh, 30. shoot. Yep, that's a good point. We're going to need some light at some point. Uh, I'm blind. I can, I can see perfectly fine. <laughs> Does well, everyone like step back out? <laughs> what? Can, can you huh? step back? You know what? It's fine. I think I think I can see everyone anyway. She's gonna move back. That's uh, and she Let will me move my dead companion. <laughs> Heal Jones. <laughs> no, that's that's not. There's not the time for that, Goku. There's time and place. And then she will cast the light spell, and let me drag it to. Party with the light spell is like a chandelier that moves. Uh, I'm going to oh, swing. I, I can't. I can't drag in everyone else. <laughs> Appreciate Birdie? it. Birdie gets light. Does yes. Core want light? Core does. Core lives in the shadows. I am the night. I can argue before. <laughs> Core lost the only light in his life. I am in no. utter darkness and despair. I don't. Now. They I don't call me says... bear man. I don't think it says the creature has to be living. <laughs> I mean, the dead the creature is willing, isn't it? <laughs> I start like, we go into a room and I just throw Briggle's dead body into the middle of the room so we can see what's in there. It says if you create the light in the same space as a willing creature, you can attach the light to the creature. Uh, hey, I mean, is it unwilling if it's a dead? I, well, <laughs> it, it didn't say no. <laughs> Briggle's an object at this point. Uh, that is true. That is true. Water. All right. Uh, of my despair. Yeah, you uh, you start sloshing the water over the blood, and the blood doesn't seem to react really. I mean, it obviously where the water lands, you know, the blood like you know rick or not ricochets, but there's an obvious impact of something hitting it. But uh, it kind of just seems to dilute the blood a little bit. All right, I gave the blood lady a bath. What now? Interesting. If only we had mm, my thoughts so rags. How well did that clear the blood, that splash of water, or is it still barely? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's still, like, obviously there. It's just kind of, like, spread a little bit. So, uh, um, I don't know how you want to do this, Muir, but, like, so... You know, I, I when I make my my potions and stuff, I craft those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Am I just reusing the same like glass bottle, or just do I just have a bunch of those? It's like the way the alchemist and also the investigator or the subclass kind of work. They, it's kind of like implying that you're just kind of finding all the little crap you need along the way to make these things essentially but i mean so, yeah if you want to roll it as you have like a few vials that you reuse that's fine okay. or pick some up do yeah, i have a however, spare however you want to do it no no it's like you're never gonna run out because i mean obviously you can be making like acid vials and stuff and chucking them so you you know you always manage to have some on hand oh seems. look i have a vial in my pocket perfect can i scoop some of the blood oh. in my vial into a vial and cork it uh, yeah, sure. Sweet. You're saving it yeah. for later. 
Yeah. We're going to go back to town. He's going to be asleep <laughs> and it's going to come alive and start killing him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I figured we can study this when we're back in town. Mm, study, yes. All right. Let's um, move it and groove it. <laughs> move and groove. Stop, shut, shut close the door behind us. I don't know, Limbo. Do whatever you want. <laughs> It's you know, Bones, to close the door. Uh, what, what's your problem? Oh, just don't slam Please. it with those muscles of yours. Nah, well, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't hear you over your bones aching to use a crowbar. Go um, kill. I don't think the little tie-up session worked <laughs> out for them. Lovers quarrel. That's why they had to talk in the other room. They're mad. Serves <laughs> her right. In your ear, go kill. Birdie, what is going on with you? Your bird's not speaking, go kill. <laughs> yes, she is. She <laughs> just serves her right. She has to say anything in the past five minutes. She's been talking this entire time we've been here. She's been talking as long as I've known her. Maybe your ears are just not strong enough, Limbo. Oh. Uh, at least I have ears. my bear? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Briggle's dead. Can we get over a lover's quarrel? You can kiss and make up later. Um, we should go left. I mean, right. <laughs> Your left or my right? Oh, everybody. <laughs> There's a walk on the right. I feel like right is. Birdie, come on. Stop talking and get over here. This right. This is what you mean. Yes, what we're facing. All right. Go on. I think oh. we lost. Okay. I'm gonna open the door. <laughs> you know Joe. All right. Open yeah, doors. you open I the door. I got a dead right bird right. in between me and anyone who can help me. <laughs> a dead bear. Right there. It uh <laughs> it almost almost falls off the hinges, but as you open the door, you see that the collapsed ceiling at the middle of this room has left a ragged hole in the wooden roof rotten tapestries their tapestries their designs completely obscured obscured by mold hang in tatters on the walls between arrow slits and ruined side tables the remains of a fancy dining table lie mostly pulverized by the falling ceiling and i'll say uh there's a giant exactly, monster in here <laughs> it's it's uh it's not on the map but we'll say in this far corner over here you think you might be able to see what might have once been an old, uh, you know, kind of like pizza oven type deal. <laughs> <laughs> like a brick oven pizza? Not like a pizza. <laughs> 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 like a little, you know, little metal what, box. <laughs> they'd, uh, what they'd use to cook in old medieval times. Yeah, like a brick oven. Molda, Perfect. Bad yeah. pizza. <laughs> Yay. Pizza night. Don't night. have any wheat. <laughs> Yeah, this does appear to have maybe once upon a time been like a <laughs> mess hall, essentially. This dining room has a collapsed ceiling and tattered tapestries covered in mold. Ooh, but I think there's a. To eat I, think, I think there's a brick oven over there. You mean pizza oven? <laughs> what What is pizza? That's a great question. It just popped in my mind for some. Oh, reason. I know that one. Mm. Pizza. It's this um. It's dough that is fried, well, cooked with cheese and tomato sauce and different toppings. Mm. Isn't that like just a sandwich? No. No. We're different. We eat. No, eat pizza all the time. No, oh, you do. <laughs> Wonderful. Yes. Every, whatever the equivalent of Friday night is in this world, no, we'll have pizza night. Yes, no, oh. I, I don't think we'll be making any pizzas. Briggle pizza. <laughs> All right, let's get back on task, everybody. <laughs> I will say, uh, for you, Jones, something is odd about the rubble. Hold on. It's a monster. <laughs> it's another boss monster. Hold on, Koa. There's you know something... There's something odd about this because... <laughs> Yeah, let's just say there's definitely something odd about this. There's something odd magic. about this I rubble. Can't see. It, Wait, do you think you, you could move uh, the, the Briggle aside core and maybe I can 
Oh, Ta sorry. Magic. No, he doesn't fine. move that much anymore these I, uh... days. <laughs> but you can't just you can't just muscle past him. No, uh, you can't either. So I don't want to hear it. And she will use the text Actually. magic. Actually, it's not difficult to mechanically what would, more, what would be more messed up? Eating this bear, or just dragging its dead body with me for the rest of this adventure. <laughs> also, mechanical question: Can we move through Briggle without rough terrain, or because he's an object, we can no longer move through his space? Oh, so as a reminder, since I was a dummy last episode, moving through will- Oh, I see why you're still asking, yes. Because we can move through willing creatures without being difficult terrain, and technically Briggle is prone, and, and he's basically then. an object, and basically willing, so he's not difficult terrain. <laughs> I mean- uh <laughs> Willing is a stretch, but I'll take it. <laughs> his, his spirit spoke to me last night saying, if any of your friends want to trample over my corpse, they're more than welcome to. <laughs> I consider it. Different than normal. Those are some uh, pretty harsh words. I, I wouldn't use trample. Oh my god. He said something about being walked on in death on. like he was in life. Yes, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> well, perhaps, perhaps he wishes to be made into one of those nice fancy rugs. Oh, and I have, I have a use for that already. <laughs> well, just consider it, it seems to be his wishes. You don't want to make him into like a, a fur coat or something, like, you know, armor? Why does that mean I got weird? <laughs> Where do you think I got this coat? And you see, that was wearing the bear skin. <laughs> Sprinkle the first. <laughs> <laughs> Why does the rebel look weird? But yes, uh, I have uh, cast the tech magic. Okay, we should probably oh. give through more than one room this session. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Jones, if you want to like try to perceive what's odd, you can give me a I'll, secret perception check. I'll wait to see also... how capable this limbo is. Yeah, Limbo, uh, you do not detect the presence of magic in this room. Well, from uh, uh, at least in your section that you can detect. Well, without going in a the room, there's uh, not really anything in that bit of the rubble in front of us. But, uh, bones, oh, please. It's a shame if I could walk in there. I mean, it's up to you, Cor. Well, I believe I might have to get closer to investigate. Are we, like, worried there's something oh. under the rubble? Or is it, like, a hole in the ground under the rubble? I can't see very so, well, but everybody's so concerned. Mir, <laughs> Mir with, this, with this rubble being odd, is there, like, like, in what way is it odd? Is it, like, oh, the rubble's shaking? Oh, the rubble's... Because, like, that'll help me oh. determine how I want to approach it. Yeah, so, uh, let me just, uh, ha, da, 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 da. Why don't we just throw a rock at it? I'll get the bucket of water. This seems to be the answer to most things. Water. <laughs> so, basically, the way this ability sounds is I basically tell you if something looks suspicious or not, and then you okay. can investigate. <laughs> Alright, can I perceive how that looks suspicious from here? Y yes, you can. Go ahead and give me a perception check. Um, no. and honestly, now that he's pointed this out, if anyone wants to, they can like take a gander. A gander Oof. away. I don't know how to perceive. There it is. Oh, yeah, I can all just do that, and y'all can Ooh. do it as well. 22? Feeling 22? Right. I, oh, that was that supposed uh, to be a GM roll. That's my bad. It, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Um, so yeah, you notice that. There are a lot of tiny bones in the rubble. Yo, my people. <laughs> and I will say, I will say this. You actually remember seeing the corpse of kind of old, uh, an older corpse of a kobold out in the front of the keep. Um... I mean, these small bones could be roughly kobold, goblin, a small creature sized. A kobold that escaped an Otari ended up dying here. <laughs> well, um, there seems to be bones over there. I thought you the were bones. Are they, are they like under the rubble or are they like on the rubble? 
Um, like, does it look like the ceiling kind of, collapsed, or does it look like like on top of them? Yeah. Or? So the yeah, the ceiling has definitely collapsed on them. And I will say, sorry, I uh, I was just looking at your roll again. Um, I will say that as you kind of like look around the rubble, you like almost feel like just kind of looking in here, you almost hear like maybe like the faintest of like whispers as well. Like something isn't exactly right in here. And the sound does seem to be coming from the rubble, but it doesn't really sound like it's just whispers from like one entity. Like it almost sounds kind of like a, a bunch of things like whispering together. Um, all right, so do you guys hear that? No. 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 Okay, well, there seems to be whispering about this room. Some sort of uh, perhaps spiritual entity or invisible creatures. I suggest we, did, we didn't want bear pizza anyways, correct? Not bear well, I was pizza. Not itch, I, mean, I'm going to I wouldn't the bear. bear. Perhaps we can find something besides a brick oven, pizza Maybe oven. the voices are hungry. Uh, what? what voices, you? are you hungry? <laughs> oh, God, they just made a weird loose fart noise. <laughs> <laughs> they must have um, eaten recently, the digestions. They've done other I... things, too. We should leave before it gets weird. <laughs> <laughs> I I will say, uh, Limbo, you being trained in religion, um, you do know that creatures who tend to die in ways such as this, where, I mean, obviously, you know, who's going to predict a ceiling collapse, you know, uh, with sudden deaths like this, they may potentially uh, be stuck in the area, really, uh, kind of angered at their sudden passing. Um, but you would also know that, you know, generally, if you're able to give these things a proper burial after, you know, uh, managing to, you know, halt their malicious intentions, uh, you can tend to help spirits move on. A halt, you mean beat the shit out of them. <laughs> how, how well are you guys, uh, equipped to handle, uh, spirits or ghosts? Well, according to our track record, not very good. No, no, not good at all. <laughs> well, I have a strong suspicion that maybe the whispers are probably just their spirits or being very upset. Well, I mean, we could give them a proper burial, but uh, the the issue is I feel they definitely are going to attack us at first. Why are they mad? Well, Avi, would you be mad if someone just dropped a rock on you and killed you? A sweet yes, release of but... it. But people dying from non-natural causes becoming ghosts seems very much um, a commonality in our world. So it seems like there would be too many <laughs> ghosts if that were the thing. Like well, I got my it's blood also sucked very out. Selfish. I got my blood sucked out. Briggle should be a ghost right now. Well, look, I don't, I, I don't. I don't run the rules of the world. I. Th this is just a theory. It's a thought. Well, I blame God. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Well, let's There's more than one. Well, I I will say for you, uh, Limbo. Uh, you do know that you were able to essentially temporarily banish the other ghost, uh, pretty easily, channeling your divine, you know, source. So you could try to do this before these spirits even essentially become aggressive. At the moment, they seem to just be kind of concentrated amongst the rebel uh or you could even possibly try to maybe like calm them in a way with uh you know words of encouragement and whatnot you know your your gods are all about leading people along the path but yeah you, you don't have to if you don't want just saying that you as a cleric would be aware of these things so what was the verdict on the pizza again or did both of us actually want this bear pizza i do want some better pizza or I mean, I could try, but I don't think we have any dough. <laughs> we, we can make do. We could go no, back to town and dough. get some dough and come back. It's pronounced dough, right? Uh, don't. Uh, 
You're mount. a range of sorts. Yeah, I'm sure. What's the expiration date on your bear? I mean, it was recently killed within the last 24 hours. I think it's still warm enough that it should be good. So it's good. It's good for five days at least. But how long of a trek was it to get here? It wasn't that long, right? I was just uh, like, uh, I think it's like an hour or so. Oh, okay. Okay, we ain't even got to go back to town. Well, We're just going to go back town, get dough, and then come back and pick up where we left no, off. No, 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 no. <laughs> My rations Let's... are bread. That should count. I oh, have. Yes, I could grind that up and add some water to it and flatten it out. I, I understand. We're all fixated on this pizza. <laughs> However, we must eat the if, pizza if so the we bear, have carbs to continue. If the we journey. still have time to consume this bear at a later date, I suggest we find the office, return to town, eat the bear town. Mm. It's going to be a bloody Nobody mess. Will look we at eat us this weird. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure they have a pizza oven there as well. <laughs> but. But we, it's, it's, I think they have a pizzeria in town. <laughs> but it's also fresh. Like, I mean, yes, it, it's not going to go bad, but I mean, oh, the quicker we yeah. make it, the better, right? We have it's five good until days. Maggots get to it. I'm going to eat this within the next two. I'm shutting the door. <laughs> We're finding the office. Wait, wait. wait. She's going to go up to the door and oh. she will open it. <laughs> and then she will begin. It's like, it's up j just in case if there are spirits, she'll start, um, Channeling a, a prayer to the bones. Okay. Oh. What if I just pass on right now? <laughs> <laughs> like along with this, <laughs> the bones just collapse. Just collapse. <laughs> oh my god! That would yeah. be so that would be the best but PVP. <laughs> Limbo's gonna send the spirits like Yuna in Final Fantasy, uh, and we're just gonna <laughs> see the light leave Bones' eye. <laughs> Give me a religion check, Limbo. All right. <laughs> oh, so oh my god, religion. that's awesome. You want it public or private? Uh, yeah, public's good. All right. Yeah. Nice. All right. Nice. Um. Okay. So we'll say um, you begin to charge um or channel some energy uh through the caravan. I'm blanking on the exact god right now that helps people who are lost. But you're channeling uh -huh. that one. I want to say it's either the black butterfly or a different one. But uh you begin to channel this god's energy and you see for a moment uh the spirits do kind of begin to almost lash out as they all uh you see the spirits of old kobolds kind of in pain and they look anguished. They kind of reach out, but as you channel this energy, um, you actually do uh, manage to almost kind of soothe them. And at least for now, they actually do kind of recede and calm down, essentially, and kind of recede back down into the stone. And uh, you don't exactly feel their presence uh at least for now, um, as you've kind of caused them to uh, re relax, essentially. <laughs> you've so, appeased them for now. So, guys, I I really kind of want this pizza. I, I feel like I may have... you ask them if they were hungry? Well, no, I... Don't they That's very corn. inconsiderate of you. What if they corn, come back corn, and they're jealous of corn, the pizza? I don't think they can eat. Oh, that's true. So, I... Um, Go ahead. Oh, yeah, I was going to say Limbo. So you do know that now you've kind of temporarily appeased these spirits, uh, you and your connection, you've already realized, if you were to dig up these bones and bury them, this realistically would help them move on, and you'd probably never have to worry about these spirits again. You, you know what, guys? I, I feel like I did some good here. Uh, <laughs> let, let's, oh, no. Let's just... Let, let's just... Uh, Very humble of you. Yeah. Um. No, oh, go on. Uh, let's just um. Uh, while we can, let's feel like we just bury some of these bones if we can. Uh, go ahead. Um, if we don't have, have any rubble. dough. We right. can make bone meal. <laughs> that oh, was. True. You know what? I was actually going to say something along those lines. I, it seems like a lot of energy and time to dig so many graves. What if we just uh. cremate them? 
in the brick oven. I wasn't hired to bury bones. I, I keep you alive. It wouldn't, it wouldn't take long to bury them. Besides, we're going to go back outside looking for the office, right? Time, time's money, Limbo. How much you pay me for graves? I charge you my gold uh, grave. I'll, I'll give you a piece of slice of my pizza. How there's, oh. there's nothing wrong with being cremated. I mean, look at me. If I was cremated, I wouldn't be suffering this existence. <laughs> <laughs> if we are going to cremate them, we, we got to make sure they're all gathered in one spot. And then I uh, need to say a prayer over it as we it gotta burns. Get the fire very hot and uh, hot enough to make bone brittle. And then, Maybe b bone already brittle. And then, and then I can just crush. pick up the ashes and just scatter them in a wind. That, that sounds like a good thing. What if we use the fire that we use to cremate them to make the pizza? Ooh. Oh, yes, that's what I'm saying. We <laughs> use the, the oven. oven. We use the oven over there. We you guys are cursed for sure. I don't want to use the oven that we are trying to make the bear pizza to there, cremate some bones. We're making the bear pizza back at town. We have no <laughs> ingredients here. It doesn't make sense. Oh, that's true. Look, what? We'll argue as we get up the bones, all right? Let, let's get up the bones. We can argue. <laughs> We're as arguing we as we that. dig up bones. I, I take my stipe at the head of time. Yeah. No, go um, kill. He's going to, like, pocket one and gnaw on later, and that spirit's going to come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, um, as you guys begin to kind of remove Very the rubble and uh, gather these bones in a pile, uh, it only takes you about a half hour. And uh, what I will also say is that uh, amidst the rubble, you also find a Door. few random trinkets. Ooh. Um, so trinkets. in Something these trinkets, for birdie. if my darn frackalack and token thing would get the hell out of the way. Let me just move that for a minute. Why is there a token? Uh, <laughs> you guys... Sorry, yeah, I just had to Genji. do that. I can actually click that. You guys are able to find, oh. uh, you find a Caltrop snare, uh, which is like a trap that you can use. Um, mm -hmm. You find a wolf thing, Ooh, uh, which mine. is at, oh, maybe I should have <laughs> made y'all identify mine. that, but that's fine. <laughs> you'll find a wolf thing. It does appear to be some sort of talisman. Uh, you will say you guys are trained enough in Arcana to identify what it is. Um, and you also find about three gold and 20 silver. And also you find a small alchemical vial that is labeled yum. Ooh, bones get the vial. I get fang. Uh, core, you get trap. And Limbo, you have money. <laughs> hey, what's really cool is that if you know what you're getting, so like the Caltrop snare, instead of like typing in new equipment, you can literally look it up in the compendium, grab a hold of it, and then just drop it into your uh, inventory. Inventory. Well, know what's cool too? If you guys open that token that I revealed, you can also drag it from there. Oh, well. that's what's what weird. That is. What's it's weird is the uh, un the yum liquid turned into unusual liquid. For some reason. That's Ooh. because I forgot to make it that. So it is a vial labeled yum, but you're not exactly sure what the substance is. Do you think it's actual, you know, that does it taste good? Here, I need you to delete. Oh, you know what? I'll just drag it onto my character yeah, but, and delete. delete the other one. You each, you right each get a gold <laughs> piece, and I'll take <laughs> the 20 <laughs> silver pieces. Oh, that seems like Oh, a, I was going to let like, Limbo have all because we took everything else. <laughs> No, I mean, no. You, you, you get the vial boats. Like, come on. Yeah. Uh, the you vial. Get the yummy vial. <laughs> we don't. We don't even know what the vial does. It could be well, deadly. Let's get the yum vial boat. It says yum. All right. You're the investigator. Limbo, I have an idea. You All taste. Right. You get first dibs of drinking this liquid. No. I, I get the twenty look. silver. No. No. <laughs> Bones, you, you can take the vial. I, I could give you twenty silver. How about that? Oh, that sounds great. Thank you. I need to and buy the lock picks. <laughs> I just need a right. rush later. I just want thing. <laughs> so who has the vial, by the way? I do. Bones. Okay. Uh, bones. The where I will. <laughs> uh, you have alchemist tools, do you not? Uh, yeah, I believe I do. you do. That's part of your thing. Uh, if you want, you can give me a secret 
crafting check. Crafting. Uh, and crafting? you can uh, try to identify it. All right. How did you guys take that gold piece off out the menu? I didn't take any gold out of the menu. All righty. Oh, you just have a cl- you just dra- uh, grab it, drag it. Oh yeah, your yeah. Drag sheet. it on your sheet. Oh, yeah. okay. I want to see. Can you actually drag it on the token? That'd be cool. Yeah, can yes, you, you can. Yeah, you Ooh, can just drag it. Oh, the token. nice. Um. Okay. Yes. So Turns out you just threw it on the ground. Uh, you are able to identify this unusual liquid there, labodium. Um. So, yep. let me just make that not liquid. There candy. we go. Boom. Uh, you identify it. As uh, you kind of open it, you like pour a little bit in your little toolkit. You you know swirl it around a little bit, get a good eye on it, and uh, you're actually pretty sure that this is a poison known at well. Okay, in game terms, it is tagged as a poison, but it is black <laughs> adder venom. Uh, so it's technically uh, venom. Venom, uh, but you're ingesting, so it's a poison. Yeah, so you could actually apply this to your weapon Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. to apply this. uh, If you were to slash someone with it, you could make them uh, take poison damage for three rounds. If Um, they fail a fortitude save. Venom damage. Okay. It's nitroglycerin. So, let's find this office. Wait, let's let's take the bones outside and burn them there. I thought, no, we were burning them in the oven. But no, let's not burn There's the a oven. perfectly <laughs> good oven well, that's going bones. to get hot because that's what they're designed to do. Bones, they died in here. Yeah. And now they will be put to rest in here. Man, yeah. they love uh, it in here. I, no, they, they don't go kill them. They definitely don't. All right, so they're, they're just mad about the rubble, not the room. We can do it your way. Yeah. Mass grave, all in one. You know, I bet kobolds would enjoy that. Kobolds? Yes. Oh, hello, Briggle, you startled me. (laughs) (laughs) He is kind of scary like that, isn't he? (laughs) It's quite sad, really. Birdie, look, I got the new toy. The rest of the series is just going to be Limbo and <laughs> Jones just at each other's throat. <laughs> uh, so where do no you want to bury these, Limbo? Uh, preferably not away where the lighthouse, where that blood spot was. So probably... Mm, oh. Don't run so the Mifflins can get you. Oh, I have an idea, Limbo. <laughs> if we go over right. that way, I point to the left now. Um, that door Ooh. probably leads outside. You can bury sure. it out there. Door in there too. We didn't go to the door. Oh, I, I didn't see that door. No, I can see it. I want to open this door. Core. Cool. Oh, okay. I'm scared. Yeah, you open that door. <laughs> Everyone else is carrying bones to the outside. Uh, as you open this door, oh, no. you see that the ceiling has collapsed in the southwest corner of this room. Great the walls bear things. several shelves, but the books and papers once kept here have rotted to ruin long ago due to exposure to the elements, as have the wooden desk and chair in an alcove to the northeast. Um, I will also say that you find uh, you find the desk suspicious. The desk in there is suspicious. Uh, This could be the office that we're looking for. I totally didn't think that. I totally thought this led outside and was not totally gaslighting you. Well, well, Bones, (laughs) did you want to check on that while we, you know... No, this... Some, these bones in the river. Something off about that desk. <laughs> so I think I will wait. All right. Well, let's go ahead and no bury one and, and or cremate the bones. Let other people investigate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised he opened the door by himself this time. You know, right? No. It's, it's kind of weird how he usually lets the rest of us open doors. You still have a rope around you, by the way. <laughs> Start well, untying bones, it. um oh yeah also just in general because i keep forgetting to ask and i want to be better about that 
Uh, as we kind of like traverse the area, what are people kind of generally doing exploration wise? Like, are you like Act searching magic. for traps and secrets? Oh yeah, Limbo's doing detect magic. Awesome. I, I know last time Core was sneaking, but like just whatever people want to do. Just I'm totally know. traps, secrets guy. <laughs> All right, so bones. you are searching instead of investigating. Okay. Wait, is there? Um, there's a difference. Yeah, so investigating is for like recalling knowledge to like learn stuff about your surroundings or if there's like anything like that. Whereas searching is actually doing like perception checks and stuff to detect traps and like hidden doors and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if, if uh, Core's doing that, then I'll do the investigating one. I don't know what Core's doing. Yeah, what are you doing, Core? I think he's peeing. Oh, he also went. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Core's just letting it hang, just walking down the hall. Uh, go I'm kill. Oh. Are y'all are good? Sorry, I'm having a sneezing fit. Oh, oh no. <sighs> uh, yeah, I'm carrying bones. <clears throat> Same. I'm And a dead bear, so I'm like trying to. Oh, yeah. They, there is a lot going on for Core at the moment. You can see the outside from here, so we, we can go check the desk in, in, in a second. Uh, yeah, in a second? You mean in hours after you've dug this these holes? <laughs> no, it's, it doesn't take long. It, have you ever dug a hole before, Lynn? But I, I have shit, uh, bones, yes. Oh, I'm going to use the bones to Shovel dig the hole. Light. There you go. They get, there's a little kobold skull. Oh, yeah. These are very obviously kobolds as you dug up more of the bones. You just said it's like a little hand goes. shovel. <laughs> Brittle bones break. We outside. Boys. Is this not the direction that we, we outside for today? Hey, there's already a hole down here. Ah, oh, perfect. <laughs> oh, um. Yeah, so, okay. Oh, it's a um, monster. I don't, I don't think that's, I don't I don't that's the hole okay. we're looking so, for. There, there's like a couple things, right? As you guys begin to like climb over this rubble to get outside the, to bury. Um, I'll say that to the north, um, you can't really see behind it because there is a bit of rubble, but it looks like it kind of like goes through kind of like a little bit lower than the ceiling, but the ceiling is also gone. It's just like higher rubble than what y'all are on now. And I'll say that behind that rubble to the north, you kind of hear like really loud, like almost like a, I'm trying to think like really loud snaps, like almost like gunshots going off, like, you know, um, just like every once in a while, just, you know, um, and then to the south, uh, you guys, as you kind of pass, considering there is an open door there. Uh, you guys are able to hear like faint, like mumbling and kind of, oh, so you guys would kind of hear gibberish, but, uh, Jones, you would hear under common, like, no, that's, that's mine. It, it's my mushroom. No, get back off. It's mine. Uh, it just kind of seems like there's a little bit of a, a struggle going on I to the pull south. my bony finger up to my, my bare teeth. teeth. And I say, shh. Are you smiling with your finger? I don't think you can make that noise. <laughs> I don't know how I even talk. I, it's just... I really don't have the functionality to, to speak. It's, it, I, it's more of like a... I don't know. Is, is there a problem? Uh, it seems those... Perhaps those beasts we fought, those little... Me... Things. Fake uh, pardon? The, the man? The, the <laughs> fake pixies. Yes, those, those lying sacks of turd um, <laughs> sound to be down there oh, fighting over one something. One of them just healed. I saw it. <laughs> it was, I just had like a vision. Was it perhaps five healing? <laughs> um, so let's just, uh, let's just stay quiet and try not to get their attention. Quiet. Look at that noise degrees. over there. The, the gun, the pistol strip. It sounds like quiet. someone's trying to keep the property value down. Look, it'll, be, <laughs> it'll be real quick. There's there's four of us. Five if you count Birdie. We'll, we'll just, Birdie. We'll just, we'll just dig the grave. 
Put a mound over it. I'll say a quick prayer. We could be on our way. All right, how are we digging the grave? Yes, we're, 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 we're digging it. Just... I said, how? How, bold skull? <laughs> and I just grab a skull and just start scooping. Just the up. jaw These section. bones have to be brittle. <laughs> <laughs> they were here long work. enough to be... <laughs> She'll start using her shield fresh. to dig it. Oh, uh, this is mortifying. <laughs> just what it is. As I watch you use a skeleton to dig a hole. <laughs> Bones, we need more tools. I need to come over here. Oh my god, I love this. Yeah, you guys are able to dig. You know, I, there were like maybe four or five small skeletons. Y'all essentially yeah, yeah. need to dig like. A, a hole grade. about the size of a regular person, <laughs> if not a little less. So we'll say with your improvised tools and everything, it takes a max of about, like, we'll say 45 minutes. Oh uh, it's it's a shallow grave, but it'll it'll get the job done. <laughs> the, ne the, next, the next wash out from the water is just going to immediately show up exposed again. <laughs> so that is done. We're in a Limbo. swamp. It's going to be exposed. You can still see the <laughs> nose. You can still see, like, the bony, like, yeah. snout of one of them. Yeah. <laughs> the gold still sticking up out of the ground. As the ghosts leave, we're going to hear them going, I wish to be cremated. <laughs> yeah, pizza oven. No, uh, yeah. the, okay. the grave is finished. Limbo will put a few rocks by it and then she'll kneel down and say a quick prayer and be like, yeah. all right, we're done. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's just... You, and... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Oh, it's oh, just... Uh... Was... Oh, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... It's not really... I, I, I don't find it too pleasing to just be buried in the same place where I died. You know, if, if uh, we have the time. Better, you're right. Like, I, I'm sure Briggle wouldn't, you know, have wanted, like, you know, just been buried in a room where he was killed. It's it's not right. I also don't know if Briggle wants us to eat him, but that's what I'm going to <laughs> Also, the floor was stone in that room. Couldn't bury. Yes, no, we're, I, we're done. So we can move on. What, what do we want to do? The desk? Or we want to go to those whispers? So I will say, as you key. as you say that, before anyone is able to answer, uh, you see uh, Limbo as kind of like spirits kind of like begin to shoot out of the ground and they kind of like swirl along you. Um, but it, it doesn't feel like scary. It doesn't feel cold and it doesn't feel like death. It actually feels warm and you almost feel like this sense of appreciation as they swirl around you for the quickest moment and then they're gone and well, <laughs> fuck the rest of us, um, and uh <laughs> as they uh as they just begin to dissipate uh you get an extra hero point Ooh, right. um, but yeah and are, then go ahead <laughs> are kobolds in this world rats or are they they're dragons. They are little draconic people, yeah. I bet they would have wanted to be burned alive. Anyways. <laughs> let's um let's return to this desk. I believe it may be the office. <sighs> desk. Oh, oh yeah. Cold, also cold sorry, I I guess y'all as you guys were kind of like walking back on the rubble, I would say that you can kind Die. of roughly see into the southern room. So just as so you have a little bit of description about that, uh, you kind of like are able to look up and you see that the entire ceiling of the room has collapsed and you do see kind of a large hole in the center of the room. But given like your angle and whatnot, and it's kind of dark down in the hole, you can't really see what's down in there. Uh, but uh, you do also notice kind of like scorch marks along some of the walls, kind of like in the southern section of this area that you're in right now. Uh, but yeah, uh, go, go ahead. I just wanted to let y'all know that's kind of what you saw as you passed by. All right. Um, let's go have a look-see at this desk. Oh, and while now that you aren't carrying bones and stuff, uh, I know Limbo is like casting to take magic. Uh, core and go kill. What are you guys kind of doing in general as you explore? I got my axe out, ready to pounce. All right. I'm 
looking so, around. Okay, so you kind of like keep an eye out for things. Taking that, like, in the sights, make sure there ain't the ain't a little fake pixies coming to bite us in the butts or um, the the person with the gun coming to shoot us. <laughs> okay, so sounds like go kill scouting. So I'll get a little bonus mm -hmm. on perception initiatives. Uh, Core, are you maybe like trying to search around, like keep an eye out for like traps and stuff or anything like that? Yeah. Okay. Right. So I'm investigating then. <laughs> All right. So he is investigating. It sounds like. Uh, okay. Yeah. So you were going to go check out the um, the desk. You said. Yes. All right. Uh, so yeah, you are able to go ahead and check that desk. Um, let me just. It's a mimic. <laughs> it's a mimic. He just turns the skill. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see here. So I just sorry. I oh man, this is what I was looking for. Yeah, God. Um, okay. So oh, did I just see? That's oh, I just sorry. I, I just had to. I had to figure out how to do this really quick. Birdie. Uh. Yeah. You you don't see so just for my this because this is like gonna be one of the early, only times I have to do this you you didn't see anything right core other than just a GM rolled some dice like you didn't see him. anything in your wow. screen okay cool all right all right just uh, just wanted to know uh, okay so cool uh, so I will say uh, <laughs> core so uh -oh. uh, so we'll say Jones you begin to search the desk and we'll get to that in just a moment core. Uh, as you enter this room, you also notice that something is somewhat off about the bookcase. Um, and you notice that it almost looks like one of the shelves, it's at an angle, but it almost looks like that could be intentional, like it could be rotated further. Rotated. Um, <laughs> Yeah, this so we'll weird. we'll get to you we'll get to you rotating it in just a moment. Um and so in the table, uh easy enough to search. It's pretty oh. old rotted table. I but, wasn't searching uh, it because you said it was odd, so I wanna make sure I don't set off a trap. I wanna oh, yeah, I'm yeah, go, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and give me a perception then. But at this point I feel like I know it's safe now. <laughs> to search the room. Yeah, we'll say you rolled really well, and uh, lo and behold, it is an old rotted table. Okay. But there is a drawer uh, that appears to have been unopened for a while. Uh, mm -hmm. It's kind of like a hidden compartment under like part of the desk that's still kind of held together well enough. And inside, you are actually able to find a few. Uh, oh, hold on, don't look yet, don't look oh, yet. Oh, I'm oh, looking. Oh, 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 I, I, I did pull it up. <laughs> Yeah, there's a there's a lot of elixirs under that. <laughs> no, I don't know um, what you're talking about. Nothing in here. Nothing to see. <laughs> uh, yes, nothing to see. You find three, <laughs> perfect, uh, three perfect. vials of liquid. Uh, and I will say, uh, honestly, I'm not even gonna make you do this one, uh, because this one looks just like the elixirs of life you've made. Yeah. Uh, so there's clearly an elixir of life and two other ones in there. I'll pull that out. Mm -hmm. There's there's liquids in here. It seems this one is a healing potion. I can continue to hold on to them and feed them to you as you need, or I can hand it to one of you now. What would you prefer? Uh, I'm like, as he's talking, I'm rotating that object. <laughs> yeah, of course. So, busy. Uh, okay, cool. We're we're all working hot together fast. Uh, so yes, you rotate the uh, the shelf in this bookcase, and as you do. You hear a click, and the bookcase actually begins to like open wide a little bit, like a section of it kind of opens, and you see that there is a hidden stairwell behind this bookcase. Holy shit. What? Limbo and magic. I made the wall disappear. That, that is pretty impressive. Um, very good, Koa. What were you saying, Bones? You oh, said something um, about liquids. I've decided. Uh, go, Kettle. I think you should uh, hold on to this. 
Just chewing on the wolf thing. <laughs> All right. Seems He's chewing on a, a cobalt bone. <laughs> <laughs> I'll chew on the wolf thing that I found. All right. So if throw you want, it here. If you want to drag it to your inventory or whatever. We want you to throw it so he'll drop it. Oh, maybe I can I'm do it for you. Let's see. I'm outside. Throw it here. Nope, you're not allowed to move this <laughs> item into that character. Here, I got you. Bam! Go kill has the elixir of life. So did got I? It. I did not find a key. Is what I'm understanding, correct? Uh, in this desk, you did not find a key. Okay. Uh, but there is also a door to your north as well, and a stairwell door that magically here. opens. And a stairwell. It's a door in the kitchen. Um, I think we should go down the stairs. <sighs> Am I the only one who, like, my head cannon is that go kill is like slightly schizophrenic? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> like he's sitting there, he's like talking to himself and stuff. He's like talking to Bernie all the time, <laughs> always fidgeting, chewing on something. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else probably knows, but they just ignore it. Mm. It's like, like oh, there's a door in the, It's like, and there's a door to your north. <laughs> but there's a door in the kitchen. It's just right where it <laughs> It's like, you okay, go kill. Yeah, Birdie was just asking where all the doors were. You keep staring at the corner of the ceiling and speaking. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Is the stairwell going up or down? It's going down. Down, down. In down, down, around. the goblin town. So who wants to go first? Mm. Um, Bones. Well, I don't have any <laughs> to lose. I think Limbo should leave. Well, Ooh. let's do a vote here. So go kill said Bones. And you want me. <laughs> Cora, what about you? Who do you want to go down first? Oh, no, I, I don't care. I can, I can go. <laughs> so he's in a don't care category. No, he so voted I'm, for himself. What? <laughs> All right. So I'm a flip a coin. Mm -hmm. Uh, if it's heads, it's me. If it's tails, it's bones. Okay. It, no, no, no. That doesn't make any no, sense. Uh, the three of us. Well, it <laughs> seems like it's a it's a tails. So bones, it's you. No, it's <laughs> that bones. doesn't make any sense. <laughs> what do you mean, bones? Oh, ahead of time. It was. So now we, they say whatever they want. <laughs> Wait, there's I want to flip a coin. Oh, you can I, actually yeah, flip you can a do coin a coin. All right, I couldn't but, find it. I, I don't want to waste time. Where is but, it? um... <laughs> You forgot, Kor has also offered to go first, mm. so... So if it lands on its side, then it's Kor. <laughs> oh, there it is. You just got to do... Uh, oh, perfect. It's you, Limbo. No, because remember, <laughs> heads was me. And was you. No, you said evens odds. No, I, I, no, no, you're putting words in my mouth, bones. How did you do it then? I don't know. <laughs> Look, Limbo, yeah, you're not proving yourself very strong. Ooh. I, will, I, I gave us a fair chance. I will go first, you you weakling. Oh, Bones, that's not very nice to say to people. Oh, yeah, I forgot. For some reason, this has been popping up on my screen instead. So, <laughs> what? Um, oh, the, the prompt as you see a set of stairs do you descend downward. Uh, oh, cool. I made a coin flip macro. Nice. nice. Can't uh, wait for you yeah. to use that. Ooh. I'll never use it again. Though, <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I quiet. Okay. I try to as quietly as possible squeak the door open. Now that they're gone. Oh, oh where, where yeah. Is hold on. We'll we'll get to downstairs <laughs> oh, okay. in a second. <laughs> um. So I will say. Uh. Oh yeah. So you're headed down for. Yeah. I guess I'll go. All right. Um. Go. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll I'll drag your your companion down. Thank you. Bye, Briggle. Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll describe I that. I can in only just see the moment. map in which I just left. Um, but go kill as you oh. begin to descend down the stairs. Uh, once Take again, you just hear. Uh, Be careful. It's okay, Birdie. You know, I'm starting to think it's not you. Because it sounds different every time. But uh, you, here, you just you just perch on my shoulder. Stay close. I are you okay back there, Gokil? Kill. Hey, I'm talking to Birdie. Don't interrupt. I, I'm just asking. Because no, no, again, no. I, I, I don't Thank know if Birdie said something. All right. Thank you for your... He, she just said to be careful. 
Everybody's so concerned for Goku. I appreciate. <laughs> she kind of cocks her head like down, like, huh, okay. All it's right. canon, whatever the spirit is that's talking to Goku. We just we're all always gonna assume that it's Birdie. Because <laughs> <laughs> it is Birdie. You should assume. Yeah. So as you, um, you guys make your way down the stairs and Jones opens the door, uh, you guys see that three plain wooden chairs sit along uh, the. Oh, hold on! I'm clicking away prompts. Hey. Uh, cool, three plain wooden chairs sit along the east oh. wall of this otherwise empty room. Um, but everybody take a seat. Everybody take. A <laughs> this is the waiting room. <laughs> it's a pretty odd waiting room, don't you think? <laughs> my you parents are selfish. I grab my tusk. <laughs> 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 um, I will say that uh, core. You notice <laughs> that behind the middle chair that you're oh. sitting on, you yeah, you like you sit back in this chair and you like feel you kind of like lean back a little bit and you like start to feel the chair like go into the wall a little bit and you like stabilize yourself and you look around and realize that you've like indented the wall and it's begun to like kind of open a little bit, revealing that there is most likely a secret door here. I've been very lucky today. I wish I had this luck two days ago. In, yeah, maybe Brig will still be alive. And, and there is also, there's also a door to the west as well. A, a, an uh, obvious door and then a, a, a secret door that was kind of in the wall. Do we want the secret door or the obvious um, follow me door? Oh no, the secret door kind of seems uh, fine. No, uh, uh, yeah. door. I don't think we should take the secret door just yet. I think we should. Mm. Uh, this this area. You should flip a coin. <laughs> Look, I. <laughs> you want to flip the coin to start bounce? I'm going to kill <laughs> all of you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, it just this seems almost like a waiting room. I feel like, perhaps mm. to see the mistress in her office. Yes. So right. why why would there be another secret door? It doesn't make sense. Well, so I, I say we I know. open this door just to check. Mm. If it's not an office, we can go through the secret door. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. not bare bones. I mean, who's <laughs> going to go to all the trouble of going to their office every day through two mm -hmm. secret doors? It makes no mm -hmm. sense. Well, I mean, Bones, we can just flip a coin. You can flip it this or, time. Or watch this. Bones! Oh, <laughs> I was going to do that <laughs> He got there before me. Oh, all right. Yeah, Jones opens the door. It's another door. He's uh, by himself. You, you see, yeah. as you kind of yeah. quickly He's grab this roll. door and open it, um, you see that a long wooden table sits in the center of this room. Oh, and I will, I will also say that these doors, uh, also kind of like the doors that you experienced in the other basement, uh, kind of swollen, so it like takes a little bit of extra effort to open, um. But uh, you see a long wooden table sits in the center of this room, surrounded by several wooden chairs. Mm -hmm. And uh, from your current perspective, I'll say that you can't really see much more until you got a little bit further in the room. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, there's a long table in here. I mean, perhaps mm -hmm. it could be an office. The old meetings in there, <laughs> conference calls. <laughs> Take a step to the side. <laughs> Well, come on, Bones. You were so eager to go in. What happened? Oh, I just wanted to open the door. I, 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 I mean, I don't want to hog the spotlight. <sighs> These lovers' quarrels make me tired. I'll go in. Thank you, Jeremy. <laughs> go kill. I can't stand any further in the room with my scene. If I stand there, I'll stand on a chair at the table. I'm doing it. Oh. <laughs> There's All a right, really nice so... chair in here, too. Is it? Is. I want to say. Yeah, you, as you well, I'm the taking room, it. Starts <laughs> gnawing yeah, on the chair. Yeah. Go, go, kill goes and Just sits on the, chair, the mark your northern chair, which looks particularly comfortable, mm, although its chair. cracked leather padding is somewhat decayed. Uh, and you also see a door to the south. That's the chair, go kill. It's pretty nice. Let me take a look, look at this chair. Uh, oh no, go kill's got to sit in it. Uh, oh, Kill, king of king of the conference. King of the conference. Hey, what's uh, what's the uh, what's the logs looking like? The budgets. We gotta get the budget down. 
We're down. We're down a lot of bones that we buried. So uh, we're also down a bit. Revenue is very. We need more bones. Um. What do, do we want to open? Other door or secret door? No. I want I to. Uh, way. I want to take a look at this chair and make sure the key is not. Okay, but I'm bringing the chair back to town, so that's fine. Any ideas. Is it able want... to fit up the staircase? Yeah, I'll make it. Uh, I want to. Should they get it down here? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's true, I guess. <laughs> I want to get the kind of it down here. Ikea, yeah. They buried the hole and put all the furniture in before <laughs> laying the top foundation. <laughs> the chair is the uh, only thing they put in this room before they built the rest of the house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to see if, like, maybe there's a secret compartment or if the key is, like, in the cushions or something. Mm -hmm. Make sure the key is yeah, not sure. uh, give me, in this give me chair. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Mm. Oh, that's a lot of questions. All right. So, um, you, uh, which on honestly, yeah, I'll say pursue a lead is fine because you're trying to find these keys. Uh, yeah, you essentially go kill kind of gets up reluctantly and you kind of mm. stick your Just hand, hand down in the decayed like cushion or the le decayed leather. You kind of feel around. Kind of like look under, do some knocks and taps, looking for secret compartments and whatnot. And yeah, it does appear to just be a nice, well, nicer chair than the others. <laughs> All right, seems there's nothing, um, nothing here. So, okay, um, take out my chalk, scribble on it. That's mine. We come back for this before we leave. Yes. It's just in coherent scribbles. <laughs> yeah. Did you write that's mine or did you put go kill? I can't write. It's just a scribble. <laughs> Alright, so Limbo, I opened the last door. How about you open this one? Well, but I wanted to open the secret door. But oh my God. Core opened the secret door already. There's another well, secret Well, he just sort of propped it a little bit. It's not actually open, open. Y'all didn't see oh it was on the other Okay, guys. here's how we solve this. Limbo, you <laughs> go through the secret door. The rest of us go through this door, eh? All right, sounds like a plan. All right, see you later. <laughs> Bye, Check Limbo. back in in the conference room. Can you, Don't touch my can chair. you watch after Briggle for me while you're in there? <laughs> <laughs> she, she wants to decide that Briggle just in her corner. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep an eye just on it. Punched over all battle scarred and <laughs> bite marks. Uh, Actually, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Limbo. Yes, yeah, right, perhaps. Just no wait, no. <laughs> no. I'm going to show. Oh, her I forgot to close the door. The lover is <laughs> Oh, all right, let's go. Oh, oh God. Show Limbo what's going on between you and Bones. Shit, she's I, gonna. I don't know. He's he, well. He, he tried to use me as bait for the for the drake. He tied a rope around my waist and uh. Oh, he, he go kill. <laughs> thought that was for something else. No, no, he. And uh, you spent I, I opted. I'm like, bullshit last night. We oh that we needed privacy. Well, no, see, it's it's with my uh, religion. I'm. It's not really a good. Oh, it's time religious for me to, marriage. No, no, it's not. It's not really a good thing for me to sit in the same place for the same, you know, same night. Oh, so you're swingers? No, <laughs> no. Or, or you're 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 misunderstanding me. I'm Absolutely sorry. horribly. I I I don't understand. Um, Normal just, culture. Just know this. <laughs> I have zero interest in bones. Oh okay. now if, if he has like interest that. in me, at this point I could tell you. Oh sorry. But I, I, I personally have zero interest. Up. I was really confused. Yeah. Alright, so the secret door, let, let's let's try to open it. All right, yeah, you guys are able to, you know, put some pressure on it, and it uh, opens We're the rest gonna of the die. way. <laughs> 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 um, so I will say, so just on immediately opening the door, because you can only see a little bit of this, uh, you do see that the floor is strewn with pieces of rotten wood and twisted metal. And I will say that from the north... Uh, I guess it would be kind of worse at this point. I would say there's like the faintest, faintest, faintest green glow coming from the north. You know, color. I, I well, no, I there, there's like a green glow directly to my left of this door. Maybe so much cooking pizza with green fire. <laughs> if um. If you want to peek your head around, you can just like move your token one space and then move it back. All right. Beep, beep. Peek. 
All right, yeah. So as you guys take a little bit more, that's your like, long fucking peak. all the way. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. insanely long. You know, I could have sworn it was a bit shorter. <laughs> you guys see that uh, this long, ten foot wide hallway has vaulted ceiling, arching, arching to a dozen feet high. Three broken metal brackets hang from the ceiling: one to the south, one to the north, and one in the middle. Although what the frames held once is unclear. Then obviously you saw the floor strewn with twisted metal. And then to the north, where you kind of saw that faint glow as you peeked around, you noticed that the glow is coming from under the door frame to the far north, like all the way at the end of the hall. And uh, I'll say that you guys also see kind of like a door uh, to the south, the southeast and the kind of northeast of y'all's current position. So... There's a green glow under that door. We both saw that. Um, Actually, I don't think it's it. It. Oh yes, uh, we did see a green glow. Never mind. Yeah, I, I. I don't think we should go up there just yet. But there's a door a bit closer below us. Well, maybe we could try that one. Yeah, I would be. You know, opposed. It to also it. looks like that hallway turns a little up up there. Yeah. The wall didn't continue. That is true. Oh yeah, it, it's like that to the north and the south as well. We'll, we'll just take a peek around here and uh all right Let's, uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and protect you oh I all appreciate right it. so you guys begin Holy to shit, head out a lot of doors down here there's a yeah. lot of doors and uh we'll come back to you in just a moment uh okay so while they were investigating we're gonna have the same doors, conversation <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, go kill and jones <laughs> that limbo really really is slowing us down yeah, doesn't well, want to carry we, her own weight, and she does not weigh uh, very much. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I picked her up. She didn't weigh too much. <laughs> I, f- I, I feel like you understand me, Gokel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> understand. Do you want to open this door? Yeah, sure. Remember, don't touch my chair. Rin said I get any treasures I find oh. that chair is my treasure. Of course, Gokel. You can have <laughs> the chair. What treasure he wants. And I respect... <laughs> I respect, um, mm. seats. What, 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 yes. what the shit's that thing called? A Co- chair. Claim. Whatever <laughs> that game is called. I don't know. Uh, Dibs. Dibs, thank you. Mm. Mm. That's what the that's kids say like, these days. That's why I like you. That and you're made of bones. <laughs> you know why I like, like you, Gokel? Why? You're not afraid to open a door. Yeah, I love doors. I just, uh, I'm getting tired of doors. Door. Oh, there's nothing in here. We picked the wrong door. <laughs> As uh, you open that door. It's a closet. It's a closet. It's just a closet. <laughs> you do notice a very obvious, um, like, indent Monster. along the opposite wall. Oh. Uh, and there does appear to be, like, a, there's, like, a slight square, um, like, I guess also indent on the side. I uh, will say to the west here. It looks like it could possibly be some sort of button. But this once again does look like the more obvious side of another secret door. Birdie, keep a bone safe. <laughs> he walks in. Birdie will land on Jones's shoulder, <laughs> and I'm going to go push a button. We have our own secret door. <laughs> Are you? Sh- <laughs> Never mind. You'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are, are you Be right careful. behind him, Jones, or are you in your current position? We're gonna die. We're gonna blow up. <laughs> uh, I will. <laughs> I will wait here exactly. and protect protect the chair. Yeah. The it's ghost birdie. light was really just a radiation light, and the button he pushes <laughs> launches a nuke fireball. <laughs> so it's a beam of like necrotic after, energy down the hallway. Long. Keep the um, safe and chair. All right. Uh, so yeah, you press the button. Oh, I was gonna say, I was gonna take my axe out with the first door. Can I oh. retro? Okay, one hand axe before the first door. Still axe, mm-hmm. but one hand push button. Die. Yeah, I'll even I'll even say you can push the button with your axe. Oh, you. even better. <laughs> Two hand. <laughs> um, and yeah, as you push that button, uh, you notice as this door slides into the wall, and light seeps out into this main room. <laughs> uh, I know so magic. <laughs> what are those? And I, I will say. Now. 
that you immediately hear uh well actually sorry i will say i'll describe this a little bit you see that there is a large filthy room mm. uh that you can kind of see a sliver into to the and you also see what appears yeah. to be collapsed rubble to the oh, south lots of that. um half-eaten fish cat-sized oh. beetles and bits of waterfowl lie strewn across in a tangle amid gnawed bones of larger creatures and as you kind of see all this you immediately hear a yeah, this like hiss and oh, yes. uh, I didn't I'm gonna, hear the actual noise. I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna need That's right. everyone to roll initiative as I you guess. have just flash banged these creatures. <laughs> so I mean, they're blind. blind. <laughs> they're blind at disadvantage. Um, uh, yeah, so we get our bonus. <laughs> Uh, you do. You do get your bonus. Uh, <laughs> well, how do we apply that bonus? There goes you, my nat twenty. <laughs> so when you uh, when you oh my god, it actually wasn't at twenty. Uh, uh, modifier yeah, plus you, one add. Yeah, change the circumstance bonus to one and just so make sure it's not grayed out. Mine should be a twenty. I'll, I'll add yours. Right? Yeah. Why is it mm -hmm. grayed out actually? Um. Oof. That's Oof. A, put a name in here maybe like. <sighs> Uh, uh, sorry, say that again, uh, Grizz. Just trying to, if it looks like it's grayed out. Uh, oh, never mind. I'm just adding it multiple times. Okay. I see what's happening here. Oh. <laughs> okay, there we go. You get the 100 initiative. Um, okay. Yeah, we'll just turn on this. Oh, we're fighting Morlock Scavengers. Um, so, okay. Morlocks. So, first off. We'll say that, uh, okay. Oh, so like the only no. two that would be affected by the light would be these two, right? Yeah, more like luck. Um, so they are, this one's, these were blinded. All right. Um, yeah, let me get these rolled. And Core, did you do your roll as well? Yeah, I'm up there. Oh, you did a perception okay. check, that's why. It's not a show. Oh, okay. So what was your perception? It was, uh, 16. So same as bones. Uh, 16? Yeah. All right. Let me just roll this and then update it. Um, roll and then update it. So it'll be one more. Um, okay. Yeah. So. Wait. It, I need burning oh, stats block. It's like I thought I got a 16. Yeah. Um, okay. And then I just wanted to make sure that these guys got their proper... They're blind. Oh, cool. It did. It did. It did add their blind property. Oh, no. Blind. I just thought of something wow. horrible. Okay. They just rolled what? really well. Um, what? The door to the meeting room is closed. Yeah. Who closed mm -hmm. it? I wonder who. <laughs> yeah, I wonder who. <laughs> Briggle closed it. <laughs> no, they both did because she's being spiteful. Uh, so what I will say is, Gokel, you are up, and you see uh, a couple small creatures uh, as they like kind of like cover their eyes and like almost back up away from you, hissing a little bit. They're kind of like these smaller gray, kind of like pale, uh, kind of like almost like decrepit-looking kind of goblinish creatures. In terms of like media that we may have all seen as viewers kind of think of Gollum from Lord of the Rings uh, and I can also do a nice little thingy right here if you want talk you don't send go kill first you want kill I know where and, we yeah, are now they, they look like this for our viewers where were the uh, hallways in that south room that we walked past oh yeah <laughs> Uh, but yeah, and Core and Limbo obviously notice a set of double doors to their cell as well. Nice. Um, all right, but you are up, Core. Uh, you see, as these things Core. are moving, Core. kind of. Go I kill. mean, go kill, go kill, <laughs> yeah, go kill. Yep. They seem to be blinded at the moment. Birdie, blinded. food. Um, I'm gonna use one action to command Birdie, and she's mm -hmm. going to fly 10, 15, 20. 25, oh, These are now blinded as well as they hiss. And uh, they uh, kind of back up a little bit. And Birdie is going to attack that one that she flew to. Nice. With her nice. Bite peck. Oops, I got a target. Okay, I am Birdie. Peck I target. Peck Break. Peck. Roll. Birdie, why are you do so bad? Oh. 
Oh yeah, unfortunately, uh, this thing, while still blinded, uh, kind of manages to, uh, it, like, kind of almost trips over itself, and Birdie just barely manages to miss. I don't get some uh, kind of good of modifier because they're blind. Uh, so they are taking a penalty, uh, due to being blinded, they, uh, they critically fail perception checks that require them to see, and if your vision is only precise, take a four penalty to perception checks. Uh, but, oh, and they also, difficult terrain. So basically, they don't take penalties to their AC, but they take a pretty hefty penalty to trying to attack you. Well, I'm going to use an action to move in now, and I'm going to swing on the one to my uh, right here. The oh, yeah. what? Hold up. It's also, oh, no, da br uh, blinded, blinded overrides dazzled. So yeah, yeah, they're still blinded. Rathal, um, dazzled. All right. Uh, so cool. You boom. move in. Bring the boom. The yeah, that days. is a hit as you bring your axe down on this thing as it's kind of uh, shining yeah. away from the light. Don't to be you shy. Know, Come here. <laughs> ten <laughs> points of damage. Ooh, nice. Yeah, for ten points, you got that thing. Nice. Oh, whoops. Hold up. Sorry. I did not mean to do that. Uh, oh. yeah, ten points of damage. Uh, takes a pretty big hit. You, this is looking not so great. <laughs> These things aren't that tough. <laughs> yeah, he bones just sees go kill. Say birdie food. And birdie jumps or like flies off of bones shoulder and flies into the room. And then go kill, go kill runs in with his axe raised and starts swinging. That is his turn. Swinging. Swinging. That's his turn. I don't know how to, or I do know how to end my turn, but you usually do it, and then I get sad. I got you, fam. Bam. I just All don't right. want to do Let it, and you do it, and, you know. You are up, and you hear uh, pretty loud hisses and a shriek as uh, something sounds like it's been injured. Oh, I probably yelled it's loud enough to say birdie food, yeah. too, <laughs> because I was a little closer. I, I, I think, uh, I think Bones and Gokil found something, Corey. I think we should probably go back. You can hear something? Yes. Yes, I can. Oh. So, yeah, I'd be able to hear that as well. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we should go back and just do a quick check. I can't hear the screams of my allies. <laughs> okay. I, I don't know how to respond to that, I'll be honest. So, for sure. I can go hear ahead the move. cries of my dying bear. <laughs> 15 feet using one action. All right. So I so I will say so with these swollen doors, are you trained in athletics, uh, Limbo? Let's see. Uh, uh, it's blue. Oh, you are. You yeah. are. Yeah. Okay. Good. So you are able to open this door with one action, but you do notice it's very hefty. Uh, so it might be more work for weaker creatures. <laughs> I'm catching strays. But what's going on? So she's going to use an action to open the door. Another action. Mm -hmm. Bones is up. Everything all right in there? It seems Gokil has found some company. Fantastic. And um, I how does Pathfinder work? So even though I moved as an action, am I able to still use another action to move? Uh, yeah, yeah, because okay. you used two actions so far, right? Right. So yeah, yeah. So you can feet. try it again. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I guess we'll just... So, like, your your current stride ended when you got to the door and then right. did another action to open it. But, yeah, oh, you yeah, can like, stride again. Oh, well, yeah, like 10 more feet, so... Ooh, five. <clears throat> this turns yellow. Oh, nope, that's 25 feet. So, that's apparently it. Oh. So, yeah, so, sorry. What I was meaning is, so, you're when you strode up to the door and then stopped striding, that was an action, and then you opened the door with another. So, now, with your last action, if you stride again... You're starting like a whole new stride. Like you ignore right. any movement you had left. It's a oh, new stride. Okay. Yeah. So that was five feet. Uh, should get room. It's ten. Boom. Boom. There. And yeah, that's good. I want to block the doorway for a core or bones. And mm, I guess bones does go. Uh, yeah, and what, you're, not gonna, you're not gonna slow him down or anything yeah. either, so... With Limbo's knowledge, it's safe to cast Guidance on Bones, correct? Yeah, yeah. Pretty much the only thing that you ever need to worry about casting on the Undead Bones, which is what you would use to hurt other Undead, 
is uh, your like vitality kind of stuff. Okay. But that was three actions, so that would just be Limbo's turn then. Okay. Uh, all right. Next up is this one. Uh, it is. Yeah. It uh, kind of like swipes wildly, uh, trying to hit you, Goku. Um, so let me see if this does this automatically, because. Basically, when you're blinded, uh, you the creatures that you are trying to, yeah, because you can't detect things using vision. So vision is your primary sense. If you can't detect things. That means it is hidden to you um, in terms of this, because he can still hear you. So he still senses you with an imprecise sense. Uh, so that means it's going to have to roll a flat check to see if it can even hit you, no matter what it was going to roll um, on the actual die, the attack roll. So. It is going to pull. It's going to just swipe wildly with its dagger. Um, so let's see how this works. Let me see if it actually does the flat check or not. Uh, okay, it did not do the flat check. So uh, let me just uh, do that real quick. Um, so that is a just a d20. Darn, I was kind of hoping that would automatically do those for me. Um, okay, so, sorry, just pulling this up. It's the, the first time I've had to deal with this rule. Uh, just give me one moment. Uh, yeah, so it's a DC 11 when something's hitting from you to try to hit. So yeah, it the first strike swipes wildly, uh, just misses, um, as you're easily able to dodge this thing. Uh, and, you know, it's honestly, it's not super bright, so it's going to try it again. Uh, so let me do another. And, uh, alright, yeah, it keeps swiping wildly. It's like got its, uh, like arm over its eyes trying to block the light. And, uh, sure, why not? Let's just go for one final one. Why not? Uh, god, this is so intense. Uh, okay, so, yeah, and, uh, so this last one will be that. And yeah, it had a horrible thing. So yeah, uh, just completely wildly swings, misses every attack against you, Gokil. Um, so this one is now up. It is going to move up because uh, it can still kind of hear you there. And uh, it is going to try to attack you. Uh, so it is, uh, well, I might as well just get this out of the way now. Um, all right, uh, so that is still going to let it happen. And all right, so this one actually is, as it kind of just like slashes out wildly, it does manage to hit you. Um, but it is only going to do three uh, piercing damage as it stabs this little dagger into you. Mm, more bees. Um, <laughs> and now feeling as if maybe it actually has a chance uh, that now it's kind of felt you it's going to try to actually bite you don't feel me you little weirdo <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah it like snaps with its jaws at you you're kind of able to uh, push it back with your axe and uh, that is all its actions um, and this final one uh, it hears some commotion over here and it is going to stride up, and it is Not very smart, are you? Going to try to take a stab at you as well. I really wish I could do the hidden thing. That'd make me very happy. So I don't have to manually roll these d20s. Uh, all right. So the stab is going to go through if it actually hits. Uh, but yeah, makes a stab, totally misses. Goes for another one. <laughs> And, uh, let's see, uh, yeah, once again, just wildly swings and stabs at you. Um, sorry, I also forgot. So, at the end of these guys' turns, uh, they aren't blinded anymore, but they are now dazzled, uh, since they're still in the presence of light. Uh, so basically what dazzled is going to do is instead of blinded, where they take, like, a huge, uh, the uh, hit like perception you guys are hidden uh you guys are just going to be concealed so they'll still have to make a check but it'll be an easier check to see if they can hit you um and uh yeah that is this one's turn uh core you oh whoops wrong button you are now up my friend
Oh, and you're muted. I'm going to end up running. So I think it's going to take me 25 feet just to get to where that door originally was. So that's 10, 15, 20, 25. And I guess I'll be like, what's going on in there, Bones? And Chris is gone. Oh, no, the, the, the light is gone from his eyes. I'll just go investigate myself. I'll People use second action. Very, very scared 15, of these double doors. <laughs> 20. Uh, 25. Walk through there. And uh, yeah, I'll just take my third action. I'll just walk all the way in. Yes. Just all right. Cool. Yeah. You just charge through, trying to figure out what's going on. Oh, and I can't go any iron. further. Oh my god, yeah. I could have just went in through the door and shaved all this action <laughs> <economy>. <laughs> Uh Well, I guess you will design secret here. doors that attach to other secret <laughs> doors. This is stupid architecture. <laughs> I could have been, I'm sorry, I could have helped you. Go kill, but now I'm useless. Now I'm going to die just like Briggle. <laughs> All right, no, these guys suck. Don't worry about up. it. Limbo, oh. we took the wrong route. <laughs> but we have more doors. I, I will say, just being in the presence of this room, you almost feel like, oh, almost like a, a pain, like in your back and kind of on your front. I, just strange. But anyways, go ahead, Jones. My body hurts suddenly. <laughs> uh, did I get guided? <laughs> burn? <laughs> no, no, you didn't. I ran out of action. I think my body's getting ready to eat Briggle. You got to take some antacids beforehand. Oh, man, you stood where I needed to stand. Poopy yeah, butt. Is that I, the way of it? I assume, Jones, as you were in a new location, you probably had your weapons out just to be safe. Yeah, I always keep my crossbow in that one arm, I feel like. You gotta grab yeah. it with the you gotta, you gotta grab, grab it with the other arm. With the other hand. <laughs> that is true. Come on. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> that is a ridiculous do rule. Do you, really uh, you know what? At this point, <laughs> yes. Like At this point, I walk around like this all the time. I actually glued my fingers to it. <laughs> I can't right, reload. Right. Yeah. There, there's like little, there, there's little finger slots in it. It just, just always my stays in those. Rule in Pathfinder. <laughs> yeah. It was shields. Now it's this. Putting a hand on your weapon you're already holding. So dumb. <laughs> See, crazy. I made quite a bit of use of that in our beginner box playthrough. So I was oh, using a true. one hand or two hand weapon. So yeah. there's, there's uh, a method. For my it. first action will be movement to move in. Mm -hmm. um, actually, the party. I might be able to make a shot from here. Um, and then I, I, there I, is one here. He's just missing for some reason. I see him. Oh, I don't see him. He's just gone on my screen. Um, I the circles there, but he is. Oh, there he is. I think yeah, I just had to I redo calculate that. what is the, what would be the most effective strategy here. Let me uh, mm -hmm. devise a stratagem. Which one are you attacking, by the way? Uh oh, I have to choose the target. It's the badly injured one. Okay, gotcha. Um, all right, and since you are attacking through allies, he'll have lesser yep. cover. Shit. Uh, and then I'm shoot. like, ah, I don't have a clear shot. So then instead, uh, can I do some sort of lore check thing on this? I want to know if these are intelligent creatures slash like, like, could I negotiate with these if I needed to sort of thing? That's oh, like a recall knowledge? Yeah, I want to um, like recall knowledge to see if I've seen these before and know that I can like, you know, like I want to. Essentially, my plan is if we can knock one out, maybe it can guide us to where the freaking office is, so we're not walking blind down here. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, so, uh, let's see. Um, so what I need you to give me is give me a secret society check. And this will cost an action, just you're aware. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Secret society. Wait, is that the same as society? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. do you're society. Just oh, oh, I see up. what you're saying. Do it secretly. Yeah, it's it. your recalling knowledge. Yep. Um, okie dokie. Uh, so... Um, that is that. So let me see here. 
Uh, okay, so, yeah, so you were trying to figure out if they were basically intelligent, right? Yeah. Uh, intelligent enough to actually, like, communicate with the stuff. Right. Um, okay, yeah, so, um, you would know that they are, where are your languages, you little son of a gun? Um... Hold on, sorry, that's not showing up for me for some reason. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, so these are... Man, are you serious? Like, hold on. Oh, there it is. Okay, God, sorry, I, like, could not find... Oh, yeah, because it got changed. Um, So, yeah, you've, you've heard of these things before. They are generally kind of seen as... Uh, like they live down below. Yes, yes. Uh, they live down below. Uh, they generally speak under common. Uh, you have heard of that, and uh, they are at least intelligent enough for speech. But also, they're not the smartest beings in the uh, you know the multiverse. <laughs> are they like bloodthirsty? Um, or are they like? Uh, they are. I will say that uh, you know that these actually have um, been capable of. You've heard of them making all manner of like trinkets and like kind of crazy put together contraptions. So there is a uh, propensity for them to show, you know, kind of artistic merit in a sense. So not totally bloodthirsty. But they also are all like reeling from just having been flash banged by the light. Uh, you, you can definitely see that the light is affecting them, 100%. Uh, try to keep one alive. Perhaps it can guide us to the office. Mm, so also we kill all of its brains. Yes, <laughs> it will threaten it if need be. <laughs> That's my turn. That's all three actions. All right. Uh, so we'll just do this final little Morlock here. And, uh, yeah, he's going to swing wildly at Birdie. I kill um, all of you if you hit Birdie. <laughs> <laughs> None of you lie if you hit he's Birdie. Still, still pretty blind. All right, well, we'll give him a shot at it. Um, so he's going to roll for that. That Owie. is going to be a hit, but not That's a crit. That's it, they're all dead. None live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go kill. You see as he, like, slashes wildly, and he does manage to poke Birdie uh, right in the chest. <sighs> Or piercing damage. Uh, and now finding hold on something, he's going to try to take a bite. If you kill Birdie in the last five <laughs> seconds of this episode, <laughs> I'm flying to New York. <laughs> killing you. Yeah, he uh, he tries to uh, take the bite. And, uh, Go kill will become the new G or DM. <laughs> GM and, means uh, me in the GM seat. Let's see. That was two actions, right? Because it was right yeah. there. Yeah, and it's gonna it's gonna just try to take one last stab, I guess. Um, not the brightest bunch. Oh, that is uh, okay. That so it will get to do that, and but it has a horrible modifier because of that last hit. So yeah, that's a miss. So this thing gets a stab in on Birdie, tries to take a bite. She flaps <laughs> away, and he takes one final slash and misses. And now with go kill enraged and ready to do bodily harm to these uh little underground creatures uh we're gonna have to call it there for tonight and uh see how he unleashes that rage uh next <laughs> week <laughs> but uh until then uh yeah just remember to uh like subscribe comment all that if you want to see more videos and let us know your thoughts and everything uh, but until then, uh, let's keep making stories together. So, bye, guys. Bye, Mom. <laughs>